A few marine biology undergraduate students attended a very interesting lab early one morning. Instead of meeting in the same lab room as they had in previous weeks, they boarded the RV Eugenie Clark and set sail. These four undergrads joined researchers from the University of South Florida and Moat Marine Lab to go fishing for sharks. Students of biology professor Dr. Philip Moto participated hands-on in a research mission alongside scientists from Moat and a PhD student. The sharks were tagged, measured for size, and blood drawn for multiple research projects, including how the Deepwater Horizon oil spill affected these animals. Most were released while some were euthanized to gather tissue samples. Sometimes we take a few tissue samples so they look at uh, pollutants and so on in their tissues. Uh, genetic work is being done, sometimes they draw blood for genetic analysis, again so they can look at stocks. You know, stock assessment and conservation of sharks are very important. Director of the Center for Shark Research at Moat, Dr. Bob Huter, joined the crew to co-teach and harvest samples. He says the partnership between Moat and USF is not only important for education, but for research as well. Both partners bring different things to the table, and that makes the partnership very strong uh, and very valuable to the especially to the students who get to benefit from this. For Savannah Lobmeyer, this gave her the chance to do something she's never done before. Well, I've never, I've been fishing, but never actually, you know, tried to catch lots of sharks, so it's kind of a first time experience. <laughs> Nine sharks on her first trip out. I'd say that's pretty good odds. For Yusuf News, I'm Amy Mariani. Uh, that's just, uh, anybody else need to see anything?